I understand that we're all waiting, but we go I under, uh, well, that's not how I work. I re make the rules as I go. On a flight in Florida, this passenger is apparently unhappy with the slow deboarding process. Well, it's well, I make the rules as I go. I don't know about you, but I do. <laughs> well, I break well, them. Um, guess what? And I'm breaking them right now too. Don't be rude to me because okay. one thing I can do is be rude back to you is what I can okay. be. Oh, let's just take it down. I am, but I'm just saying she's talking I'm hostile, but I can be rude as well. I didn't push no damn body. If you want to stand in a way like you're a bodyguard, I moved you out my way is what I did. And the more the back and forth continues, the more sarcastic it seems to become. Yeah, urban community. One more person. Like, wow, you're gonna get off faster. I know. Oh, that, that is so amazing. You want to drink lunch when we get off to you? In the aisle. Oh, okay. We're gonna have a I'm so sorry. Listen, let me tell you. I'm so sorry. We're gonna deplane the aircraft in a very civilized, polite manner. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Have a great day. So much. Polite manner, ma'am. Yes, I can be really ignorant. Probably ain't seen nobody like me yet. Oh, you have? But guess what? I see more people like you, Karen. Despite the flight attendant's request, the bickering goes on. <laughs> Pausing only when the man spots the woman filming the altercation. Hello. And don't forget to put me on World Star Instagram, Facebook. I'm all there. Thank you. You're not worth it. It's not oh, worth no. it. You're not worth it. I'm an African-American, darling. So? I'm always worth it. No, you're not. You're rude, <laughs> abrupt. I'm a ruled, I'm arrogant, I'm urban, I'm everything that you don't want me to be. Black and guess black. what? <laughs> you and your camera, darling. Finally, after several long minutes, the line begins to move. But now, the man who initially pushed his way ahead seems to be in much less of a hurry. Don't touch me. Oh, no, you're, no. you're assaulting me now. You're no, assaulting no. me. Assaulting. You're touching me. You're assaulting me. Can you get off this plane? No, you need to go to hell. Thank you. No, no, I'm good. Okay, okay. okay I'll make sure I save a spot for it. What is it? What an idiot. Fortunately, according to the person filming, the bickering parties do not encounter each other again. Have a great day. Well, that's not how I work. I make the rules as I go. Here's hoping the next time they fly. <laughs> They'll all pack a little more patience and just be kind. Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, my God. Hey, 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 Paul. I tried to tell you to be about it. You hour. tried. You, you tried, tried to I'm intimidate working. me from the minute I walked in here. According to the woman filming, this customer is yelling at grocery store employees because when she called earlier to get a price check on ground beef, she was put on hold for too long. And does this take an hour and a half to get some meat and a hamburger? But the employees are not having it. I'm going to have to ask you to I'm done right now. I'm telling you right now. And neither is the customer recording her. I'm recording you, just so you know. Go ahead. Because this, you should be humiliated. I'd hate to be your husband. Right here. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Record that right there. I am. Go if you ahead, touch bitch. me, I'm calling the police. Call the police now. If you touch me, I'm calling the police. Call the police. Touch Call them. Call them. You need help. For what? Get out. Go away, you weirdo. I ain't a weirdo. You're a weirdo with a phone. Yeah. I'm afraid you're going to hit somebody. Poor man. You should have heard him on the phone. The woman recording claims that the police are called and promptly escort the derriere wielding customer from the premises. It's unclear whether or not she ever got her ground beef, but hopefully someone will get to the bottom of it. Right here. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Record that right there. I am. It's a big on, ass ass. On it, stop. It's a big one. Yeah, what y'all gonna jump me? No. Bitch, it is what it okay, is. Okay, well, come right here then. Come on. According to a witness, this customer has grown impatient waiting for her large online order, so she started banging on the windows and also became physically aggressive toward one of the employees. Now, the situation is showing no signs of letting up. You're lame. Moments later, one of the employees kicks it up a notch. The thrown milkshake mostly misses the customer. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. <laughs> but ups the stakes considerably. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. That's why I'm calling the court on y'all ugly ass. 
Hey, bro, what's up? Bitch, you fire! Bitch, put your two dollars back to that! <laughs> the employee finally returns. Not with the woman's order, but with more ammo. And this time, it's a direct hit. Bitch, come on, sir! Come on, bro. A co worker gets another shot in. Come on, man. Which seems to put a damper on everyone's evening. Y'all tripping that. The now drink soaked customer finally leaves without her order. Damn. No word on any charges. Or if either of the employees were reprimanded for the altercation. Bitch, come on. But one thing's for sure it's a bad night for everyone involved. And even worse, for whoever has to clean the place up. Come on, man. Tensions and entitlement are rising at a convenience store in Sterling, Virginia, as a man begins recording a customer who he claims has been complaining about the checkout line moving too slowly. The woman to her right has stepped aside to let her go first. No, she was way ahead of you. Okay, well, she should be in line and go her turn. She was before you. Okay, she should go. I think she's being polite. At this point, everyone seems a little perturbed. And as the impatient customer attempts to purchase some alcohol, it only gets worse. Ma'am, I need your ID. Yeah, I won't put my phone number. I just need your ID. I can put my phone number. Everybody gets ID and mine gets scanned number. every time I'm here. ID is required to buy alcohol at this store, regardless of one's age. There's nothing in here for you to ring out. I have American Express as Platinum. I bet that's it. You have enough. no product in there because you've given me no ID. But the woman remains unconvinced. Do you want to give me an ID? You know what? Give me a manager. manager. I am the manager. She is the manager. I don't believe it. I'm here every day. I have to show my ID every day. Just show it. Who the hell are you? I'm not Karen. Okay, here's the deal, or I will call the police. Okay? You need I to leave. This is going to do you no good. That's a very valid card. Ma'am, there's you no put in your purse then. Because you won't give me your ID. Finally, she relents. Okay, I'll give you my ID. Right here. Here you go. That's all we had to do. Here you go. All we had to do. But the testy back and forths continue. Now you can put your platinum. Yes, platinum. Thank you. Cool. It's a platinum. We're all it's impressed. You, you, you don't know anything about it. You look very rich. You do. I, yes, I'm rich. Mm -hmm, you I look am. good. I am rich. I like your stuff. Yeah, You're done. thank you. Your nappy hair. She finishes up her much longer than necessary transaction with one final caustic sign-off. I don't even tell you bye. <laughs> Proof positive that even a platinum card's worth of entitlement buys not even a moment of patience. I forget what you I even came in for. Everybody has bad days. It's how you handle them. That makes all the difference. What's going on? This customer is handling her apparently very bad day hey, hey, hey. by casually wreaking havoc in a Harrison, New Jersey convenience store. Even more bizarre, she then heads to the register, takes a moment to toss a few energy drinks, cuts in front of the mayor of Harrison, who just happens to be in line buying a newspaper, and then tries to purchase some chips and a drink. Don't don't bring her up to my chat. Hey, look cheesy. Needless to say, despite waiting patiently to be rung up, she is denied. But this wild ride isn't over yet. She just can't bring her up. Give quit. You're pulling the cup? Yeah, the plate, the plate, the plate, the plate. Take it down. He's probably gonna run somebody over. Despite her quick getaway, 
the police track her down and issue her a complaint, charging her with criminal mischief. Well, she almost hit a lady. Thus far, there's been no explanation about what started her tirade, which caused about $500 in damages to the store. Well, let's hope whatever it was. Hey, 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 hey. Never happens again. At a restaurant in Tennessee, this woman is demanding to pay her check, even though, according to a witness, she complained that her food was served cold. We got a Karen. But as the situation continues, and the person she appears to be with collects their things, some of the other diners begin to lose their patience with the woman's behavior. Just go and stop teaching my children words, please. I have children right here. But despite the growing animosity, yeah, right here, Karen and the pleas of the person she appears to be dining with. Get out. She seems determined to leave on her terms. Pay my bill, okay? Pay my bill. After the employee appears to run her card, the woman starts a long, slow walk to the exit. Which is much too slow. Go on, Karen. For one diner. Get her out. What did you say? I said. What did you say? Oh my gosh. The woman appears to swat at the man in blue. Oh my gosh. It's on video. <laughs> After a few more loud demands from both sides. Get out, Karen. Go, Karen. You just tried to put this on me. You can't go. Me. See you, Karen. Bye, Karen. She finally leaves. Much to the remaining diners. <laughs> the light. Lesson learned. Better to accept the apology and simply leave. Rather than cause a scene. And then leave. Oh my God. We need to leave. We need to leave. We're not serving you. Hold on, guys. Okay. We're not serving you. Excuse me, but you did say that she needs to go back to her country. What, what kind of, what kind of, what is that? Native Americans are Excuse me, this is what this whole world is. People are not from this country. Don't serve her. Yeah, you do not serve her. Don't serve her racist ass. According to Greg Kahn, the man filming, this racially charged altercation began when this woman asked the cashier for help with a broken fuel pump. But when told to wait her turn, she began raging at the couple who were first in line. Oh, no, 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 Greg also becomes a target. You need to leave. You're not no, a part no, of this. No, 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 no. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. No. No, you do not you come in here and use the F word and swear and call me a B I T C H. I never even said that. I said that. she is, and I you're not a part of this. That word. So you're you get out of here. Now. While watching this unfold, I was quite taken back, mainly due to the fact that my wife is Hispanic and so are my children. So when she approached me, I was not going to back down. You're, you're not, not a part of that. that word. So you get out of here. I don't stand for racism and for people that think they're superior or better than other people. 
But the woman is about to discover that her words and actions carry serious consequences. Where, you born? Where were you born, bitch? Where I was born? born in America, bitch. Where are your ancestors from? You're They're going. not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. Bitch, you better go back you to where you're from. You just, you just no, you just walked into a. Excuse me? Oh, my God. As the woman in pink turns to walk away, the woman in stripes pushes her, bringing a swift retaliation and a sudden end to the fight. He deserved it. You pushed her and she smacked you. That was self-defense on her part. The girl that was being harassed, I felt she was justified in her actions because she was nothing but attacked and shoved into a corner and felt like she had not, nothing else to do but react. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. After Greg posts the video online, it gets picked up by news outlets, and the woman in Stripe's husband, a local attorney, issues a formal apology, stating this behavior was very out of character for his wife. The woman herself has yet to address it, and no charges are filed. Regardless, Greg is just glad the ugly encounter was caught on camera. If I didn't record, who knows how the situation would have played out and who would have been blamed in the long run. That video single-handedly protected the girl that was being harassed. It proved that she actually had nothing to do with the instigation of the event. You just slapped my hand. Oh, my God.